All right, here we go. I'm always having friends ask me, you know, well, what are the tricks to cooking? Um, oh, I can't cook. It's too hard. Blah 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 blah. So tonight, experimenting with something new, and just kind of wanted to go over the basics for everybody, so you kind of understand just how simple it is. Uh, what I did is I went to the local Chinese cultural center, which has awesome seafood prices, really fresh and everything like that, and uh, I picked up a um, wherever it is, Dungeness crab, right there. Um, you know, uh, just 10 bucks, whatever, to really experiment, try something new. Just a big steel pot. All that is is butter, salt, pepper, rosemary. Pretty much the same mix there. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it um, here in a second. I also picked up four pounds of shrimp. Um, as you can see, they're uh, head on and, um, you know, nice and fresh. Good size and everything along those lines. And that's like four or five bucks a pound. I'm going to freeze the rest of them. So pretty much just going to make sure there's enough water in here to cover the, um, the crab when I go to cook it. I also have up here an acorn squash, which is cooking. Um, that will just be butter and honey sliced in half. Really easy, really simple, and absolutely delicious. So uh, just going to put all, in it, well, you know, all of it in and then uh, let it cook and uh, see how it all comes out. I'll take another shot here in a second. All right, phase two here, the squash is done. And just as a heads up, of course, it has seeds and whatnot in it. And uh, you just open it up, cut it in half, scoop it out, and then put honey, brown sugar, and butter in it. And uh, that is just going to taste amazing. Pretty much works with any type of squash. Uh, I already just put the shrimp in there. And uh, I'll just keep stirring them and turning them um, until they uh, turn uh, orange. and. Uh, then let those cook a little while and pull them out. And as you can see, um, you know, it works even with uh, fairly large ones. And uh, could pre-peel them. I think there's a lot more flavor when you cook them head on. The water's good to go. I'm going to let it boil a little bit more. I want to make sure that, you know, it is absolutely as warm as possible. Um, just uh, because this crab is live. And I uh, want it to be as humane as possible. So uh, the other big thing is uh, make sure you have a good lid. And uh, here goes. All right, he went in, he fit, got him in, and uh, now it's been cooking, bubbling away here for a couple minutes, and I usually just kind of guess on this. Uh, if we were to turn him over, you can possibly see that, you know, his legs and whatnot are, are pretty bright red, but um, I'll probably let it go uh, for about five, six, seven, eight minutes. Um, that's just my guess. Over here, the shrimp are looking pretty good. Um, you know, they're picking up a nice color and whatnot. Could have put a little more water in there. Um, you know, I just... I'll keep cooking them. Try not to overcook them. Um, the big thing is the foam, which you may or may not be able to see there, and that'll eventually kind of almost cover everything. That's a pretty good indication of uh, you know flavor and, and everything else, so don't worry about that. The other thing is these are done. I also just threw some leafy spinach on there, and I'll uh, put the shrimp on here with, uh, with these when I'm ready for it. Pretty much this meal could have served two people. Um, uh, tonight I'm eating alone, just experimenting, trying something new. Um, always like to try it at least once before I, I you know, uh, cook it for anybody. Um, so poking along with it, but never underestimate the power of pr presentation too. As far as you know, it almost it doesn't it doesn't necessarily change the taste, but it'll change how you feel about it. And I'll probably just uh, toss the crab on this plate on its own, and maybe on some more spinach just to see how it looks. But nice, flavorful, healthy seafood meal and. Uh, all for under fifteen dollars so uh, you know leaves plenty of room alright everything came out well I, uh, did as I said before and then just put everything together uh, usually you know if you've got anything large like that crab lobster um, you know really difficult to manage um, go ahead and put it on a different plate and keep it separate and then just uh, grab a little wine and whatnot and you know, obviously this would uh, really easily split into a meal for two. Um, and, you know, you could repeat elements of it. But, you know, that's it. Just hack and slash, super easy. And, uh, well, here's hoping it tastes delicious. All right. I mentioned that I uh, was using full shrimp earlier. And uh, I've, I've found that a lot of people are not used to having head-on shrimp. <clears throat> Personally, I like them a lot more because... Yeah, you get a lot of juice and a lot of flavor. Um, some people call it lobster butter. 
uh, out of the carapace and whatnot. Uh, now, the trick to dealing with it is, once it's cooked, it's a lot easier to deshell and whatnot, which is why I also prefer. Um, you know, you have to deal, of course, with antennas and may not be as appetizing. Um, but it's really easy, um, you know, to, you know, to deal with. Pretty much all you do is you just grab right here at the top of the carapace, lift it up, squeeze it off, and then you've got your normal shrimp. You know, there went the head and all that stuff. And then just a couple of real quick pulls. Squeeze at the table, or the tail rather, and it'll pull just right off the rest of it. So, you know, you got that, and it is absolutely delicious. Now, when you're dealing with the crab proper, I'm going to put this out of the way here. I'm no crab expert, but the trick is, in a lot of ways, this right here. And uh, if you can get it open, um, that's going to be your peel. So just push it down here. Stick your thumb in there and lift up. And make sure not to burn yourself. Remember there's a lot of hot water and whatnot in here. Now that probably looks pretty disgusting. But this whole top part, a lot of flavor in there and whatnot. Um, be careful what you eat. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, once you got it down, you can scoop out the middle. And this right here is not meat. Just really be careful about that. That is actually its gills. And uh, definitely not something that you want to eat. Uh, I'm not sure if it will actually make you sick, but it's not going to leave you um, feeling good either way. So uh, you do want to get rid of them. Just pull it out here. And, uh, you know, if you want, depending on, you know, the reason you're eating and who you're eating with, um, you know, you could do this ahead of time and really just clean it up. Uh, and just pull all this stuff out here and uh, you know that way a little less messy uh, when you're actually at the table and uh, you know of course obviously a little more appeti appetizing um, <clears throat> but you know once you uh, once you do it you're gonna have something that looks a bit like this uh, your most of your meat's gonna be here and then uh, the rest is in the legs so uh, it's as simple as that uh, you know breaking the legs off and uh, devouring as I'm sitting here eating, um, one of the other things that came to mind, well, there are two things, actually, uh, as well. The first is a great little trick as far as, um, you know, getting actually into it. Now, a lot of, a lot of times, uh, the legs will break, you know, <clears throat> a little off-center like that. And sometimes you'll get a good one. Well, looks like this is a good one, uh, where you can just pull it out. But a lot of other times, you'll get stuck back in there. And... Uh, as kind of sick as it is, one of the best tools I've found, uh, instead of, you know, I don't have uh, uh, lobster or uh, crab picks or crunchers or anything like that, so pretty much just use my teeth and whatnot. But it's the tip of a leg, and there's the sharp part right there. <clears throat> and you can use that just by jabbing it in to uh, pull out, you know, anything and everything you need. And it absolutely works great. Uh, the other thing is... Uh, perhaps the hardest part of this recipe and the shrimp and everything else is um, uh, how much salt to use. Um, usually uh, use more than you think you're going to need uh, because that's really going to bring out the flavor. And especially in seafood, I find that you want a salty flavor. Um, so don't limit yourself. Experiment with it. And um, it's definitely something where adding salt later is more difficult than adding it to begin with. But at the same time, don't oversalt it. You'd hate to have to wash it. All right, that recipe was definitely delicious. Um, now all I have to do is clean up and whatnot, which, ironically enough, is probably going to be more difficult and take more time than actually cooking it. Um, good luck with it, and uh, let me know how it turns out if you do try it.